Hey guys, so I got a request, woohoo, request, and um, I got a new laptop, and that's why everything is looking all, all more awesome on here. So I got a request on how I clean and take care of my piercing and my belly button, and I guess I'm just going to turn into one of those people who are like, oh, I don't know if that piercing hurts, I should just get it so I can show you guys. Um, so... Um, what I do, I'm not going to, like, demonstrate how I do it, because I only wash my piercing in El Showers. So, here's what happens. I go into the shower, right? And then I'm just chilling in there, right? And then I, like, let the water, like, get onto it and stuff, and I just let it kind of, like, marinate. And then I get this soap. Okay, once I started... When I got this piercing first, I used, like, all the crap you're not supposed to use, like, that Bactine spray that's supposed to, like, close up, a, a, like, an open wound, and I would use alcohol and Neosporin and stuff, and... <gasps> Yay! Okay, um, sorry. And, um, I would use all the stuff that you're not supposed to use, and it just took forever to heal. So if you wanted to heal faster, use the right stuff. Use the right shit, okay? Just use it. Um, so I got this soap. Yeah, this dial soap. And I, I would, like, put it in my hand, and then I would kind of, like, do a little, oh, that looks weird. Um, like, I would rub my piercing around a little bit and do... Um, another person texted me, um, and I would just, like, do my own little thing, and kind of be, like, just, just washing it, you know, and then I would let it rinse off and stuff, um, and then I would take my piercing out. You are not supposed to take it out, but hello, um, I took it out. Mm. You're not supposed to, like, leave it out, I guess. Um, it's it's not a bad thing to take it out. Um, but I would take it out and put it into a cap of hydrogen peroxide. Um, like, before I go into the shower, I have my little cap there because I know I'm going to take it off. And then I take it off, I put it in the cap, and then I just let it, like, sit and clean, kind of, in a way. And then as that is soaking there and, like, washing itself, um, I take more soap, and then I wash my belly button, um, just my belly button, that's when I get, like, the insides of my belly button and around and, you know, just, just cleaning it up, and then I rinse it off, and then you kind of have to, like, like, squeeze your belly button to kind of get all the suds out, I don't know, it's weird, oh, wh why don't you request this, girlfriend, okay, but, um, yeah, that's how I would clean it, and then I would towel dry when I get out, as per usual, and then, um, I would put my my new clean piercing back in, screw it on, dry it a little more because there's still hydrogen peroxide all over it, and then I would take the time, like I would I would get partly dressed, like probably like bra and panties. Okay, we getting real here. Um, and just like lay down on my bed and have some H two O shin. Mm, this is the little jar of it, because I'm too cheap to get the big $14 one, which is, like, this big, and, um, probably more, more bang for your buck anyway, um, but I got this one, and I just, like, spray it, and I just chill, you know, in my bed, and then once I feel like, like, I've chilled long enough, I don't, I don't know the time, probably, like, five, ten minutes-ish, um, I would get up, you know, I would get up, and then I would put this little antibacterial ointment kind of, okay, don't focus. Hello? Whatever, you can read it. Um, I would put this on it, and in my early days, I would use a, a Q-tip, and I would, like, a, a cotton swab. Cotton swab. And I would, like rub it around in there and like get all the areas and move my piercing up and down so it can get in the hole and everything um and that's about it honestly I would just leave it like super greasy and stuff and I know like some people will be like yeah that's gross but um I would just because this is like this is like a greasy kind of kind of ointment it's an ointment e you're not spraying it out <laughs> But that's all I do. Sorry, I can't, like, 
show you how I do it, but that's just that's just what goes on. Um, but yeah, my piercing is fully healed. Yeah, it's fully healed. I can I can do some crazy crap to it, and I might end up getting it re-pierced. Might take it out soon because it is crooked, but I like. It's not that bad. Like, I've seen, oh, my God, I saw this one chick, like, like, okay, here's her belly button, right? And you know how it's supposed to be right there? It was, like, it was, like, there. And I was, like, ooh, I thought mine was crooked. Um, it's all, okay, so this is how mine is. Like, it's supposed to be, like, this. It's just like that. Just a little bit. But I don't, I don't even mind. Like, I don't care. But the only thing is, like, the jewelry that I wear kind of doesn't, doesn't sit right sometimes, um, but the, I'm leaving it for now, you know, if I grow out of it, I'll grow out of it, um, but there is your video, person who requested it, I hope you enjoyed it, um, I had fun making it, bye you guys.